Razorback Stadium, the home of the Arkansas Razorbacks since 1938. And now let's head down to Coin Talk, brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Both teams have set their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Taken at the five. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. At about the 27 yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 27 yard line. Second down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. And they got him. To me, that's on the quarterback. He's got to be able to recognize and use his eyes and vision to be able to see that the corner is coming on a blitz. The offense didn't do a good job of picking up the blitz, but the quarterback's got to be able to see that and make the throw quickly to get the ball before the corner can sack him. Throws it in a hurry. That's a great tackle at the 25. Flag down, and I'm not sure Personal when it foul. was thrown. Let's find Flipping. out. Offense. That screen Number gets six. around six. And I thought this play was going to go That's for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before nine. the halfback could get any further downfield. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. Brought down at the 46-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And they make the stop at the 46. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Nice run there. The quarterback held on to it and turned it into a first down. That's very frustrating for this defense. That makes it first and ten. Roger, Roger! My five, my five, my five! Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. The ball just sailed on him and he knows it. He'll get it next time. That makes it second. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. And they push him out at the 32. And now he's got room to run. A nice third down conversion there. This offense has a tendency to run the football in this situation, as you can see, with good reason. We've played one. Still no score. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's tackled at the 11-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Got a man, watch out here. And he's shoved out of bounds at the one-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. That'll make it second and inches. Let's go! Let's go! 
brought down around the one yard line. In short yarded situations, it's not a bad idea to give it to the fullback. The big guy just bulldozed ahead for the first. There are some guys when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine play, 54 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. They'll bring him down at the 24. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. Second and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 20-yard line. That's a loss of four yards. That, that brings, brings up third and 14. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Light 35, light 35. Black five, black nine. They'll give it off here. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. Not much on that try, and they'll face a fourth and long. No one on the defensive side of the ball was fooled that time, Brad. And he's tackled at the 47. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. North Texas is up a score. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. A great defensive end in college football just tends his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count. When to take a chance on third down. It seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Third and long now after the sack. his man and they take him down immediately nice game but not enough for the first down yeah that's a nice play there they did everything right except get enough yards for the first down makes it out to maybe the 40 yard line in a game that's this close you can't afford to waste possessions so we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. Here comes the pressure, going long. Almost intercepted. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. 7-0, Mean Green. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives. Our defense has got her back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass. And if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, 
don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games. And you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. North Texas is up seven. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Well, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Quick throw, almost intercepted. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. Watch the pass. Rose. Incomplete pass. I thought they did a good job of reading the play and positioning themselves well to break up the pass. That'll make it fourth and ten. And down he goes at the 48. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gets it out in a hurry. Great catch and he's out of bounds. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. From the 18-yard line, first down. And two, three. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down at the 21. at the 21-yard line. That'll bring up second and 12. Offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Tackle for a loss. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. Kicks away, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Arkansas is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. North Texas holds a four-point lead. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Level at 
at the 20. It looked like they caught the quarterback by surprise. Well, that's a great call by the defensive coordinator. They send him off the corner, and he just uses his speed to get the sack. He's got it with room to run. Inside the 30 to the 10. Touchdown, Mean Green. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. You know, if a quarterback has a strong arm, one of his favorite routes is the post. But I thought the quarterback did a really good job here of using his eyes to move the safety, to open up that void in the defense, and then he made the good throw to the receiver for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A quarter to go, and can they pull the upset? North Texas in front by 11. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the three. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 26. Here, here I come again. Here I come again. Here I come again. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. He steps out at the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line, second down. He's wrapped up for the sack. Well, that time the defense did a really good job of bringing pressure. They brought the blitz, and really it freed up the defensive line to eventually put pressure on the quarterback. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle made at about the 41 from the 41-yard line. Second down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Arkansas out of timeout. The running back gets two on the carry. Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10.
He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Throws it out there, and that one's fallen incomplete. He looked like he just sort of aimed that one. Yeah, he didn't look very natural throwing the football there, and the result was an underthrow. That makes it second and ten. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Go four, three, eight. Strike to his receiver, no good. And they'll try one last pass here to pad the stats, but that's about all they're going to get right here. Going deep. This one's in the books, and our final score, 14-3, Bean Green. So that wraps things up for us. 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.